Good evening, math friends. Tonight's lesson is 8.1 through 8.3, multiplying and multiples of fractions. Our essential question is, how can you multiply fractions and list the multiples of fractions? Please make sure that you're working with me in your handout, and we'll go ahead and get started. Let's look at our first problem. It says, write the fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So we're going to look at our 7 eighths, and we need to write this as an answer of a multiplication problem, but we have to use a whole number and a unit fraction. So I need to think, if I have 7 eighths, what would be a unit fraction for 7 eighths if I were to pull out one piece of the 7 eighths at a time? Well, the unit fraction for 7 eighths would be 1 eighth. So if I have 1 eighth, I need to think how many times would I need to have 1 eighth in order for it to be equal to 7 eighths. Well, I know that if I add up 1 eighth 7 times, I will get 7 eighths. So my whole number is going to be a 7, and I'm going to multiply that times the 1 eighth, and that will give me 7 eighths. Now I have 7 eighths written as the product of a whole number, which is the 7 wholes, and a unit fraction. Let's look at our next problem. I have 5 thirds, and I need to write 5 thirds as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So I need to think, what is the unit fraction for 5 thirds? Well, that would be 1 third. So I would have a 1 third as my unit fraction. Now I need to think, how many times would I need to add up 1 third in order for it to equal 5 thirds? You're right. If I have 5 of the 1 thirds, then it will add up to 5 thirds. So 5 times 1 third equals 5 thirds. Now friends, I want you to look at 3 fourths. I need you to think, if you could write 3 fourths as the product of a whole number and a unit fraction, just like we did here for the 7 eighths and for the 5 thirds, how would you write that? Go ahead and try this on your own in your notes and press play whenever you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, here is our answer. If I were to write 3 fourths as the product, the answer, of a multiplication problem using just a whole number and a unit fraction, I would have to say 3 times 1 fourth. And that will give me 3 fourths. Because if I have 1 fourth 3 times, that would equal 3 fourths. All right, boys and girls, we are going to look at multiplying a whole number times a fraction. If I have 3 times 2 fifths, it's the same as adding 2 fifths 3 times. If I add 2 fifths plus 2 fifths plus 2 fifths, that will give me 6 fifths. So 3 times 2 fifths equals 6 fifths. I can also look at this as saying 3, the whole number, times my numerator will give me 6, so 3 times 2 is 6, and then my denominator stays a 5. Let's look at the next problem. It says 7 times 3 tenths, so that means I'm going to add 3 tenths 7 times, or I can look at my whole number and think if I multiply my whole number times my numerator, what would that give me? 7 times 3. Well, 7 times 3 is 21. And my denominator stays the same, which is a 10. So 21 tenths would be the product of 7 times 3 tenths. Let's look at our next problem. We have 3 times 5 twelfths. Boys and girls, I would like you to answer this problem on your own. Remember, 
We're multiplying 3 times 5 twelfths. Pause, work out the problem, and press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, friends, the answer to 3 times 5 twelfths is 15 twelfths. If I multiply 3 times 5, I will get 15, and my denominator stays at 12. It's the same thing as adding 5 twelfths 3 times. I hope you got the same answer as me. Let's move on. Okay, mathematicians, let's look at multiples of a fraction. It says to list the next four multiples of a fraction. We know that when we have multiples, it's like skip counting. So we're going to be skip counting with the fractions. When we list the multiples, we need to look at our numerator. So we have three fifths to start with. What is our numerator? Our numerator is a three. So we are going to use the numerator to be able to skip count. So we'll be counting by threes and that will change the number in our numerator. So if we count by three fifths, our next fraction will be six fifths. And the fraction after that will be nine fifths, then 12 fifths, and then 15 fifths. I'm basically using the numerator and skip counting by the numerator and our denominator, as you can see, stays a five. It's the same as saying one times three fifth, which would give me three fifths, two times three fifths, which would give me six fifths, and so on. Let's look at our next fraction. We need to list the next four multiples of two sixths. Well, I'm going to skip count by two sixths. I'm going to look at my numerator and it's a two. So my numerators need to be skip counting by twos. And my denominators are just going to stay the same, which is a six. So if I list the multiples of two sixths, I will have four sixths next. Then I will have six sixths, which is also equal to one whole, then eight sixths, then 10 sixths. All I need to do is just look at the numerator and skip count by the numerator and my denominator stays the same. Okay, math geniuses, it's your turn. We are going to list the next four multiples of the fraction, which is four eighths. So remember, use your numerator and skip count by four eighths. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, let's check our answers. We needed to write the multiples of four eighths, which the multiples of four eighths would be four eighths, then eight eighths, 12 eighths, 16 eighths, and 20 eighths. I'm basically skip counting all my numerators by fours, and my denominator stays an eight. How did you do? Great job. Okay, here are your three homework problems for tonight. Number one says that you need to write the fraction as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Number two says to list the next four multiples of the fraction. And number three, you just need to multiply. Good luck on your homework tonight, boys and girls. And don't forget to assess yourself. And let me know if you feel like you're a level one, level two, level three, or level four. Have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye.